You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. Well, the portal uh, window has swung wide open, and as you would expect, uh, LSU is going to be active. Brian Kelly has told us point blank that uh, LSU is targeting a defensive tackle help in the portal, and so every time a notable defensive tackle hits the portal, we're going to talk about it. And uh, just as a quick reset and refresher, a year ago, LSU needed numbers at defensive tackle. Remember, like they were so thin numbers-wise that – a year ago, they went and they added Jordan Jefferson. Even though you had Mason Smith coming back off the of injury, you went and added Jalen Lee, you got Paris Shan, you added Braden Swinson. and they needed bodies on that defensive front. This year, it's flipped. You don't necessarily need bodies. What you need is valuable experience. Okay, You've got Jacoby and Guillory, who's a fifth-year player, but in his career... Jacoby and Guillory has 51 tackles. You've got Jalen Lee, who's entering his fifth year as well, but in his career, Jalen Lee's got 30 tackles going into his fifth year, right? You've got Dominant McKinley and Demiron Johnson coming in. A couple of freshmen you're very excited about. You brought in Sean Washington, who's a JUCO player. Went Georgia, JUCO, now LSU. Again, you've got bodies. You moved Kimo Macaneoli to defensive tackle. You've got bodies. Preston Hickey, the... North Shore kid from St. Paul's who spent his freshman season at Oklahoma State, came in last year, got a lot of run uh, in the two deep in spring ball. You've got bodies. What you don't have are accomplished starting caliber players, and that's the biggest difference in the portal era now is you're not necessarily saying, let me just feel it out and see if my guy who's waited his turn can elevate his game. It's why take that risk when you can go get a guy who is an accomplished Power 5 starter, plug and play. So that's kind of where LSU is. They're not looking for numbers. They're, it's what Brian Kelly has said over and over again. Not necessarily looking to build through the portal. You know, His first year at LSU, they added 19 players via the transfer portal because they had to. Last year, they added about 9 or 10 via the portal. You know, it's going to be a, a smaller number this year, but it's going to be premium where you're adding at positions of absolute need with premium players. C.J. Daniels, Xavion Thomas. Now what they do at defensive line, we're going to find out. And the name worth keeping an eye on that jumped into the portal on Thursday is Simeon Barrow. And Simeon Barrow is a defensive tackle from Michigan State. Originally from Georgia, he was a three-star he was the number 783 overall prospect in the country when he was coming out of high school. And he goes up to Michigan State there in the Big Ten, and he ends up being a four-year starter. Now, the other interesting thing about Simeon Barrow is <laughs> this is the fourth time that Simeon Barrow has entered the transfer portal. <laughs> this is the fourth time. Each of the previous three, Michigan State has reeled him back on in, brother. They got him by big old dude. Where's number eight? Big old 310-pound interior defensive lineman who wears number eight. I love that on a big guy. The single digit on a big guy. But anyway, this is what you're talking about here, okay? Simeon Barrow is a guy who, in his four seasons with the Spartans, has started 34 games, okay? And in 34 career starts... He's got 110 tackles, 18 and a half for loss, 10 and a half sacks. Let me put that into perspective for you, okay? And again, I'm not, this isn't a knock, it's just an illustration, all right? So I mentioned Jacoby and Guillory. By the way, Brian Kelly, Brian Kelly raved about Jacoby and Guillory at the end of spring. Um, when, you know, when he was talking about finding the other starter. The thing he said about Jacoby and Guillory is like he's become. Do you have it? This was Brian Kelly talking about Jacoby and Guillory a couple days ago. In terms of stopping the run, Jacoby and Guillory has been outstanding. I mean, he is. He's singularly been. I think in terms of what Bo Davis is looking for, he's been outstanding, and he's been a stalwart. We got to find the other guy, and that's what we're looking for. We're de trying to develop that's that enough. second. Out outstanding. He's been out. Jacoby Guillory's been outstanding. We're looking for the second guy. Okay. 
Jacoby and Guillory, 39 career games played, 51 tackles. Two for loss, a half a sack. And I love Jacoby. Great dude from Ash, Alexandria Senior High, fifth year, waited his turn. He's ready to take that step, and I think he will. But again, 39 games played, 51 tackles. And he's been outstanding. Run, stop, or all that. Simeon Barrow, 34 games played, 110 tackles. Fewer games, twice the production that the guy who's been outstanding for you, who's your one of your guys, has. That's what we're illustrating, what they're trying to add. So we talked about it. They've offered C.J. West out of Kent State. They've offered Philip Bleedy out of Indiana. Simeon Barrow is another guy now that you better believe is going to be in the mix. We talked a day ago about Dominic Williams out of TCU. I- I've mentioned there's another player with Louisiana ties, waiting to see if that name surfaces and pops, but one that I've been told. So... I, it, look, LSU is not going to get all of these guys. Okay, they're not going to get all the guys. They're not going to get West and Bleedy and Williams and Barrow. They're not going to get all of them. But can you get two? Can you get one or two of the guys I just mentioned? If you do, you're immediately and dramatically better at your weakest position going into the 2024 season, and you give Bo Davis a lot more ingredients with which to cook on that defensive front in 2020. Four. Um, again, you have numbers. You've got Guillory. You've got Lee. You've already got Gio Paez, the six-year player coming down from Wisconsin. You've got Sean Washington. You've got numbers. You've got bodies to rotate, to keep guys fresh. What you're missing is the accomplished starter, and that's why you can very clearly see who LSU, what caliber of player LSU is targeting at that position in the portal. So throw Simeon Barrow's name out of Michigan State into that mix as well. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.